Hello, my name is Matthew, uh, also known as Creation. I uh, live in Edmonton, Alberta, originally from Treaty 6, Goodfish Lake. Uh, I'm here today to share with you some Top Rock foundation moves. Uh, what Top Rock is, is basically the first part of the story before you hit the ground, um, which uh, dance style is known as called breaking. And today we're going to start off with some easy steps, but also make it more challenging and walk through some different drum rhythms and uh, yeah, learn some new steps or revise some steps you already know. Um, so yeah, get, get into something comfortable and we'll come back here and we'll learn some, some moves today. All right, so welcome back. Um, let's get right to it. Hopefully you're all stretched, uh, you're in some comfy clothes, and we're going to get start from the very top. So like I said, uh, we're going to walk through some easy steps, making them challenging though too. And the uh, thing with this style, the foundation of Top Rock, is taking the most simplest steps and making them like really look difficult. Um, making your own style, creating your own style, but also, you know, having that foundation helping you build, build, your, build your, uh, your house up. But uh, um, first things first, though, too, is what's really important with this dance is the groove. Um, there's many different grooves depending, you know, the, the style that you're going for. Um, but with the, the style, with Top Rock is definitely what's important is your bounce. Um, when I speak of the bounce, it could be going up and down, like, like so. Or you can go up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, there's stepping to the side using simple steps to the side. And basically, uh, again, it's called top rock, and so it's very important we have the rock as well. If you look to the side, you could rock back, 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 or you could rock forward, forward, forward. So it's all on, depending which rhythm, uh, style, the, the music, it's really important uh, to be listening to the music with this, with this dance. Um, simple grooves. And we'll just really get into it. Uh, maybe I'll just play a beat, and then we'll, you could follow along with what I'm doing. I'll do it from a position this way, and then I'll do it kind of a mirrored position so you could follow along. Um, yeah, we'll go right here. All right. So you can listen to the beat. Very important, listening to the percussion, and we're going to run through some different drum breaks that I put together. And uh, basically, yeah, just feel the groove. Whatever you have experience or not, you can go side to side. You could lift up the leg, the knee. Yep. And we can even step side to side. We can go step, 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 step. So you could follow along. I'm just going to run through a couple of grooves back. So using my top rock, you can see the rock back. Follow along with that. You could use your arms. Back here, you can take little steps. Double up, hit that step side, hit that snare. Paying attention to that percussion. I can go round. And just taking those steps and as you progress, you could find ways to really tell your story. In this dance, it's, uh, it's all about telling your story. In the story of the beginning, middle, and end. And what we're starting off with is uh, in introducing yourself, whether you're in a cypher, battle, performance. It's definitely important to have that, the groove, the dance. All right, so the first step we're going to go through is the side step. We're taking our one leg. We're going to make it really simple. Uh, it's going to be a choppy at first, but paying attention to the rhythm as we have that beat playing in the background. And as you can hear, again, we could nod our head. You could bend those knees, right? 
get that groove going for you. Keep it simple. You don't gotta worry about the rock. You don't gotta the side right away, but paying attention to that bounce. Very important when it comes to the bounce. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right leg. I'm gonna turn around this way. So our right leg, if you're patting your left, it's your other right. <laughs> um, all we're gonna do is, for now, we're not gonna worry about the beat. We're just gonna run through that step really quick, and then we'll get into the, to the, to the music. We're gonna go one, and then we're gonna step to the middle, two, left leg, three, and then step in, four. So just simple, back and forth. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So in an eight count, full eight count, with our, our, our dance eight count, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right? So back here. I'll show you in front, and then we're gonna use our arms though too. What's very important is using our arms to dance though too, because if you're only dancing to this and your arms are stiff, no one walks with their arms stiff like that. I mean, maybe you do, that's cool, that's cool. But uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's go. <laughs> with my arms, what I'm gonna do is when I step to the side, my arms are gonna come out. And I'll show you the front position though too so you could see what my arms are doing. So from here, uh, when I step to the side, I have my arms ready here, but once I step out to the, to the, to the right, I'm gonna put my hands out. And when I come here, in, middle, and then bam. Here, bam, put in, you kind of have your, you push forward, you could put them here, but let's, let's do it together. We're gonna go push forward, you can cross your arms. And then once I step out to the left from this side, my arms go out, taking up that space, making more space. Uh, and then on this side, in, middle, out, middle, out, middle. So you kind of like a star. And a lot of these dances, though, too, it's all about shapes and creating those angles. So from here again, from this side, I'm going to show you from the back side, so you can mirror, you could follow along with me. Arms together, you could put them push forward already, and hitting uh, out on the, with the right, as soon as I step, so five, six, seven, eight, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, cool? And so again, it's also important again with the bounce, but you don't worry about, you know, if you feel stiff. Uh, a lot of these dances too, when I first started learning them, uh, I'd had two left feet. So, so don't feel if you're struggling a little, just kind of have fun with it. It's really about just having fun. At the end of the day, it's nighttime. All right, so now that we uh, learned a bit of the steps, uh, we're gonna run through with the music. Again, important to pay attention to the groove. Um, finding your way to whether you know how to bob your head back and forth, using your body, rocking. Remember, it's called top rock, so we gotta have that rock. The bounce is definitely important. Um, and again, taking the most simplest moves and then making them look like very, very wow, pizzazz, uh, adding your own character, your own style. Um, if you feel stiff, this will get through that though too. It's definitely just practice makes progress. And what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna start the beat, we'll get into the groove, and then follow along the best as you can. I'll be able to have the position so you could follow along with me, the mirrored position. And uh, yeah, let's go for the first step, side step. Here we go. All right. Start off with your head if you want to. Hitting that snare. Pay attention to that snare. It's gonna help you. If you have to use your hand, uh, uh, all right? Knees as well, if you wanna bend the knees, right? You can crouch a little, you can be slouchy, you could be up, arms swaying, many different styles, be silly, be serious, it's your story, all right? So we're gonna count it off, 
I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna follow along with me the best as you can. We'll keep running through it and then we'll build on top, building our story. Here we go. So it goes from the very top, step to the side. We go five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Catching on, catching on. We'll keep going through it though too. Add more style as we go along, all right? This step opens many different doors. Uh, it's about taking one step and making it to like 10, 15 different styles. Taking that foundation, building, our, building that story. What we'll do here though is there's different ways to hit the, the rhythms though too. You can hear that snare. What I wanna do is when I step out, I'm gonna hit that snare. So in order to hit that beat, we're gonna start off with a jump. All right, so I'm gonna go five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go one, and then we step to the side. Two, then back to the middle. Three, four, and then so on. We'll build on. All right, from the top. Get that groove, if you're important, start off. You don't wanna stand there like this and all start, start dancing, right? You wanna show people you actually feel the music. Important to feel that music. So here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam, bam. Yeah. So it's really playing with that. Once you understand it, and then you get into the angles. So what we'll get into now is building on top of that. Bang. So from here, now like I was talking about the angles um, or mentioning the angles is very important to use up your space, uh, finding ways where you can move one side to the other and utilizing everything around you, uh, learning your control, uh, whether you're in a small space or a bigger space. Um, for this, uh, we're going to do is basically thinking of the directions, north, south, east, west, and using also, you know, the southwest, northeast, and so on. Um, when we're doing the sidestep, uh, we, we're doing just this way. Bam, bam. For this one, I could do the same idea. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically with my right leg I'm going to start off with is I could go kick forward, step back, and then this leg is going to go backwards. So instead of going step left, step right, I'm going step and I step back, then I step and I step back and back here. All right. So we'll just run it through the step and step back. So starting from here, I'm just going to take my right leg. I go one and I step back two. arms naturally because you're like you're running or walking, your arms are going to be uh, in this kind of position. So you kind of want to have that natural flow. So you never want to be too stiff. Uh, it's really the whole part of your dance is using your whole, utilizing your whole body, your, your style, your reaction, your attitude, your body language. So from here, I step back and then step with the left. Then with the right, I step back, set myself up, then step here. Step back, original position, step back, first position. So let's do it from here. Right leg, I'm going to go one, two, step back, three, step back, four, step back, five, step back, six, step back. All right? So let's run through that. Let's try that with the beat. Here we go. Change it up. Next one. I really dig this, that swing. Definitely when you're paying attention to different rhythm patterns, as I switch it up, you'll see how you could react and how the music makes you move, right? Start from the top, follow along the best as you can. Like this, it goes five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Bang. Do this way. Show you the angle. So you see from this way, right? So five, six, seven, eight, two. Paying attention to your body too, upper body. Find that bounce. You should feel that drum. Bam. Cool? All right, so now let's try, make it a bit more faster. We're gonna take uh, the drum pattern. Uh, we're working with uh, uh, 90 BPMs for the ones that wanna know. And we're gonna speed it up to 100. So a bit more challenging. Now we got the, the side step, we got the back step, and we could also do the front step, but we'll just run through the new drum pattern and use that uh, back step and add it to our, to our arsenal. So this one's uh, a new drum break. Follow along. Catch it till two. Very important. As soon as you hear it, get into that groove. Starting off with your head, right? Padding helps you pat your leg, right? Yeah. So you listen to that, that percussion, hit those snares, all right? So I'll do a front version, back step, right? Follow along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bang, yeah. And at the end, add that style. It's always like good to finish. It's like a sentence. You don't wanna have a run on sentence. As you build up with the different moves, adding to your, your vocabulary, you always wanna end it. So freeze, typical B-boy, B-girl, the, the break freeze, typical break freeze. Um, you could be silly, you could be a statue. A lot of my favorite ones coming up, arms, scarecrow, whether I'm finishing, bam, bam, bam. So just other ways to, to end or go on to a different chapter, right? Um, now let's get into the front step, right? So this one, same idea as the side, as the back, but all we're doing is stepping and stepping forward, and then stepping back, forward, back, forward. Using a bit of the arms, you can see my body, top body though too. Um, but yeah, let me walk through it. No music, we're speeding it up, challenging ourselves. And so here we go, right leg, I'm gonna go step. I'm gonna go step on the spot, left leg steps forward. Right arm is kind of like blocking or you're, you're walking forward, right? Step back, I step with the right. Step back, step forward with the left, step back, step forward, step back, step forward, step back, step forward, step back, step forward. From this way, follow along best as you can. Step with the right, I go right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Cool? So let's try with some music from the top. Here we go, from the top. If you need to get ready, get warmed up, you could do a little walk around, right? Get yourself hyped up. Remember, that groove, you can start with your head, go with your legs, right? Here we go, from the top. Step with your right, step forward to your left. Here we go. Wait for that roll, count you in. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going, one, two. Uh, hit, listen to that snare. Upper body, try to get that little bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm gonna show you from the side. Uh, always that snare. Uh, snare, snare. Nice. Take a little breather. 
keep moving to the beat. Even once you stop dancing, keep that groove, right? Uh, so what we're gonna do here is put them all together, put all the steps together, starting off with the, with the side step, the back step, front step, and end it with a freeze this time, all right? Simple one, I'll show you what to do. Um, from here, right leg, remember we do the, the jump, so having our hands ready, I'm gonna go one, step to the side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full eight count on all moves, all steps, and then left leg, step back in, right leg, step back, arms, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left leg comes back to the middle, right leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On eight, we're gonna do a freeze from right there. With the music, we'll run through it a few times, and we're just jamming. Do it front with you, then I'll do it back. Here we go. That roll. Get that bounce. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Freeze. Cool. So now that we have all those three steps together, it's about playing around with it. You, could, you don't have to necessarily keep to that eight count. You could make it into a two count with steps, mix it with another two count, another steps, or four count, four, you know, really just messing around with it, but, uh, but also paying attention to the rhythm, whatever is playing with the music. Here we go. So now we're gonna utilize this step, the side step, and we're gonna go uh, from all different directions. So this time we're gonna, from this angle, I am gonna go counterclockwise. So with my right leg, I'm gonna just step simple, uh, down to the middle, left leg out, back in, right leg out, with the right leg coming back in. This time I just take a turn to my left with this position. Um, then that's a step. So once I step in there, now my left leg goes to the side, left steps in, right steps out. Then here I pivot and turn an angle. Step, then left leg back in, right leg turn. Left leg in, right leg turn. One more time. So I go step, left, step, right, Step, left, step, right, step, left, step, right, step, left, step, right, step, left, step, right. Cool? So let's try that out. So right leg steps, left out. Step out every time. When we step out the right, we're gonna take a small diagonal turn and step and then puts you here in position to do, a, do the same, same move. All right, here we go, from the top. Here we go, it goes five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Freeze, yeah. Now let's do it this way, catch that groove. Count you in like this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam. One more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bam. Ha. Ha. All right, so here we go. Now that we learned a bunch of, you know, 
simple steps from the salsa side. There's many different names for it. Whether you're doing, you know, uh, it's, we could just make it a simple step here. You could also add in those, the hips, though, too, using your movements. So if I, I can go kick, step out, that extra little lean, bam, picking up that leg. But you don't have to worry about that right now. It's really getting the foundation. Simplicity is really, really key, though, too, is, you, again, taking the most simplest moves, movements, and making them like really attitude, your own style, your own character. It opens up, opens up many different styles, many different patterns that you could get into. And then once you know those patterns and understand them and how your movements move from different angles, then you could really play with it and play with the music to have your, your own rhythm with what's playing, making the music really speak through, through, your, through your movements. Um, so yeah, let's really get that back down to it. Um, and put them all together from the very beginning, from the very top, from the salsa side or side step, uh, back step, front step, and we'll end it with uh, a simple freeze, whatever you want to do. I like to do a, the searching. There's the cross arms attitude. There's like the big bear, you know. It's whatever really, you know, what your character, what you, you know, you want to emulate. It's, uh, it's all about telling your story and everybody has a different st story to tell their own story. So, new groove. Get loose. Be silly. But feel that rhythm from the top. Eight count for each step. Here we go. So five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Freeze. Bam. And so here, we'll keep it going though. So once, once we end that first part, the three steps, the three A counts, we'll go back to the beginning. From here. So I'll go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, step, back, step, back, step, back, step, back, step, forward, step, forward, step, forward, step, forward. From here, I step back and I go back to the original position again, repeat the very beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right? Here we go. Yeah. All right. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven, eight, breeze. Dope. So, bit of foundation, you know, didn't want to make it too hard, too difficult. That comes along with your experience, is how, how you know, how more, much more deeper do you want to learn these steps. Um, you know, learning about many different dance styles is important, as this style has pulled influence from many styles such as powwow, Salsa merengue uh, to martial arts, uh, tap dancing, many different styles. And you could see it, you know, depending the person's character, their style, and their influence. Um, with me, my influence has been uh, powwow dance, traditional grass dance is uh, something I do. Well, more con myself, I do contemporary grass dance. Um, but yeah, I just try to find what makes me move, 
what allows me to share my story and my character and my influences. So, so yeah, try to really dig deep if you're really interested in learning more of these steps, making that your, these steps your own though too. But yeah, man, thanks for being here. And uh, we got more to come. Mile Zero Dance. Boop, 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 boop.